lot of people don't think, you know, that we going to do whatever, but I mean, we just got to show the world. Seven, how much has, not just for yourself, maybe you get a sense the whole kind of second unit among the DBs, has this confidence really grown over the last maybe three or four games? Yeah, of course. Uh, we always knew we can do it. We just had to show it. Do you guys feel like you have an underdog mentality going into this game? Yeah, always. Always. Every game we're coming in, we, we, we're looking to work. Do the older guys talk to you about what happened in 2016 and about how you make sure that doesn't happen again? Nah. Uh, we're not really focused on the past. I haven't really asked, but they haven't really brought it up. So there's two, there's two big time whiteouts that uh, Clemson's got. Though, I mean, what stands out about them is you watch them on video. They, they like to take advantage, I think, of their height too, right? Or mm-hmm. sometimes mismatches they've been in this year and last year in the championship game against Alabama. But just what stands out about those guys? Uh, you know, they're they're different than uh, what we faced this year, and uh, you know, we just going bring to the table what we do uh, when we play in our games. Yeah. How would you describe when, One you last watch, question. when, you, when you've watched uh, Trevor Lawrence on tape, uh, what stands out about him? Is he is he willing to take a shot? I mean is he I mean how would you how would you describe him from a from a quarterback play standpoint? Uh I feel like he uh, he's uh, very smart, you know, make quick decisions, but you know we gotta um, you know so we just gotta do our thing. Great. Seven, thank you very much.